Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Shakara Diane and I am back with a message. So today is November 6, 2022. Sunday, it's Sunday. So that's about you. Self-care, self-love is great for this day. Um, but we are going to get into a read for the full moon that's coming up on tuesday november 8th it is also a lunar eclipse so i'm gonna get into that and we are going to start off with my new um my new things that i got and i want to share it with y'all so tiktok made me do it so um i got a deck and a book and this deck, I've been wanting this deck, and um, I finally just was like, you know what, let me just get it. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to show y'all that, and then we're going to do a read with them, of course. So, my face look greasy. So, yeah. We're going to open this and see. It is a goddess deck an african goddess deck um by uh aviola abrams abrams yeah so this is the deck and i got it on amazon i got both things on amazon so yes this is the deck and then this is the book um i was just scrolling on tiktok and um uh, you know i'm into astrology and all of that good stuff and and people be acting like they signs so this is called black love signs and astrology an astrata goodness gracious and astrological guide to passion romance and relationships for african-american by Thelma Balfour. So, like I was saying, I was scrolling, minding my business on TikTok, and um, this girl was explaining how she loved this book. And um, in her video, she was um, doing a couple of the signs or what's in it, and I was just like, oh yeah, I need that because it's just interesting how different signs be working with each other or not um the compatibility or just about your signs so um the uh the full moon is in taurus so i was looking to see what they had on taurus before i started the video so they'll have your your own um like little paragraph on you um when the dates start what's your symbol the positive love traits of your sign the negative love traits of your sign the ruling planet of your sign um and then word to the wise like for a Taurus, for example word to the wise if you don't want to be introduced to the rage of the taurians don't with, don't mess with their money so um yes we want to explain a little bit about them and then it's gonna go into different things like the taurus man what they're like and then the taurus woman what they're like the um sister signs of these signs and everything like that and then it's gonna go into the guy to love to a love connection so it got taurus and aries taurus and taurus taurus and gemini and it goes through all the signs of the compatibility and all of that good stuff and then romance in taurus so um it's just gonna explain like how they act as a romance and all of that what their biggest turnoffs are um everything so i'm excited to get into this book so there's that with that tiktok made me do it so if you would like to get this i will tag the information down in the description box below and you can check there amazon has it 
And so yeah, we're gonna get right into this deck though. If I can open it. <laughs> you know, cleanse it. I got my instant going, so I'm gonna cleanse it. And I already cleansed the outside of it, but it had plastic on it, so we gonna cleanse it again on actual cards. If I can get it open. <laughs> But yeah, how was y'all weekend? I hope it was great. Mine was chill. So it comes with a book. It's a 44 um, card deck of African goddess. And it's an oracle deck. So it's um, more towards the, the pictures and the arts and not so many words. Um, so yeah, it talks about ancestors, the conjurers, the, um, warriors, the lovers, the griots. A griot is a storyteller and historian entrusted with cultural, uh, continuity. The temple of griots physically align with your voice, throat, and ears, and their energetic color radiates blue so that's something new i didn't know that so that's a griot and they are um the storytellers and the historians and then we have the queens and the high priestesses so these are the breakdowns of what the de the deck consists of and all of that good stuff how you can do your spreads I just let the cards fall out where they may, but it's specific positions that you can do to get specific um, understandings. So like past, present, and future, or um, this is called the eldest spread. So um, the council of elders spread is helpful for decision making. Hmm, so I might do that on my own time with my own reading um so yeah we're gonna get into it they got the meaning so yeah that's what the the book is gonna break down the things and i'm opening it for the first time right here on camera with you all so we gonna just see what come out um so yeah and of course i'm a link the information down below as well with this deck if you're interested in it so we just going to cleanse and clear the energy and introduce it to me cleanse off anything that is not of my highest and greatest good And it is so I'll say. And we got um what is it? Um uh, frankincense and jasmine. And in this order I ordered some new jasmine incense. So that's burning. And I already picked out some charms. So we gonna get into that. But the big overall mood in the sand is big period energy just period you know that the blue the 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 p sign and then it represents p period like stand on it mm -hmm. so that's the energy that i'm picking up for this like it's just giving royalty it's giving confidence it's giving is given <laughs> so we go get into this read and see what the goddesses have for us and what's gonna come out what the messages is we're gonna flow and grow that's what we do on this channel okay so um and i got jazz playing in the background i really wish that youtube didn't copyright music like it can just be a live vibe without the live like sometimes i 
I get a little like antisocial and I don't want to be on live. And so that's why YouTube videos are good. But sometimes I also want the music playing to get further messages, but you can't do that because the copyrights and all of that. And when I play the music anyway, they still be um like flagging the video or whatever, but they don't like mute it or take it down. It just be, you know, I guess a warning, I don't know. So it's just best that no music be playing. So I got it low. Um and that's what y'all hearing in the background no you know just hearing things is the music playing it's jazz um what else so yeah we're gonna get into this energy and see what come out i feel like maybe i should just read my notes first about this taurus um full moon and then get into this but you know, it's just a disorganization for me, which, of course, I, I read my part in, in this book. Um, and it always say that Aquarians are disorganized. And I just be like, where? Like, as for me in my household, I'm not disorganized. I mean, I may probably just be all over the place, like real scattered a lot. They always say that too, that we just scattered. But I don't feel like I'm disorganized. I don't know. Maybe on the outside looking in, people say, oh, she be doing this, she be doing that, she be doing this, she go over here, she say this, and then forget what she's saying. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm in denial, I don't know. But I wouldn't call it disorganized. I'm very organized when it comes to certain things and very particular on how I like it. But anyway, child, <laughs> that's been my saying all week. Like, anyway, child, um, Nicki Minaj energy, definitely. Anyway, child. So, um, the the full moon energy, um, we are in it already. Today, I went to a baby shower with my mama, her sorority sister, and uh, um, that, that whole thing was actually just so interesting to me because um, months ago, I had a dream, and it was, it was two dreams, actually, where it was like someone in her sorority is pregnant, and I'm just like, okay, why? are y'all showing me this like okay like that is my mama thing you know like why y'all showing me this um and so the second dream it was specific a specific person and it was just so random and lately I've just been testing myself like I'm going to just tell somebody, and when it comes to pass, then they know I'm not crazy or I'm just not saying nothing. So, I told my mama, I'm like, look, I had a dream, and this person is pregnant, and, and that's just what the dream told me or whatever like that. And my mama didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing more. It was just so random. And then, come to find out, yeah, she was pregnant, <laughs> and we had no idea until it was happening and so we went to her baby shower today and um then we went to the lakefront and the moon was already out while the sun was out and so and then it just kept on getting higher in the sky because you know the sun was going down and by, by that time and everything and it was just so peaceful and calm and um i i was just like I don't even know why I started to tell that story, but I guess because today is the full moon. Oh, yeah, that's why I told you. The full moon energy is showing up today. So the, the moon is already looking full as hell. Um, and so this energy can be utilized three days before and three days after 
the um, full moon. And this is not just no regular full moon. It's a lunar eclipse as well. Um, you know, this... When... When... Um, <laughs> When whatever God doing in my life, this post nasal drip is just going to be just well known. Like, oh, you the girl that's always wiping your nose, and that's the confirmation. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> let me get to this point. This this is already fifteen minutes. Thank goodness gracious. I don't be trying to add these videos that long. But anyway. Anyway, y'all, um, it's a lot going on with this full moon. It's called um, a beaver moon because this is the time where the, the beavers are going into their um, lodge. And I just heard a confirmation pop from my mason jars, which I don't even know why they do that because... Yeah, I don't know. But that was just a confirmation pop that I heard. But yeah, the um, beavers go and take shelter for the winter during this time. So it's called a beaver moon and it's also called a blood moon because of the lunar eclipse. And all of the three planets, the, the moon, the earth, and it was something else. They line up and this blocks off the moon and so this is going to give a reddish hue um and so this is some very powerful energy coming in and taking place during this time uh very powerful very strong and um yeah so expect some sudden changes shifts and unpredictability uh it's involving saturn energy which you're gonna want to slow down on things take some time to yourself and reflect and and just really get structured and and just reevaluate some things and then you also gonna be like wanting to go faster or feeling like in a rush or impatient maybe because of uranus um energy as well during this time and then also mix in that which i always say love always gonna show its face is venus which is involving love and commitment you might want to you know get um more serious or committed in a relationship or you might want to take a break and and break up so that that might be a thing during this time that you want to be mindful of that honor you <laughs> whatever it is that you want go for it without delay also just be grounded in that taurus is an earth sign so definitely make sure that you are making decisions that's going to level you up and ground you and not have you just all willy-nilly just because okay don't allow this energy to trick you out your spot big period all right and since it's on a Tuesday, <laughs> like when I tell you all of these signs and these energies and these synchronicities and the, it, it just be, it just be lining up to help you level up. But you gotta stand in this big period energy. Like I'm standing on it, period. I'm free. I'm single and that's what I want to do right now in this energy or I deserve commitment I am not no sneaky link I am not yo booty call none of that big period stand in that energy whatever it is you desire and require stand on it and change is gonna come expect a lot of change a lot of newness okay to be in this energy and we're gonna get further into that more um i'm feeling like the the quote of this senses in taurus 
is the Taurus is the bull, represents the bull. And so the um, saying, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And precisely, don't play, don't play. I've been picking up a lot of um, earth energy. So just make sure you ground it as well and level-headed and not just out here doing anything because you mad or you know like just have a level of discernment and concern for yourself and, and your situations and stuff and ground yourself in that um so yeah moving right along we 20 minutes in but we just flowing and growing <laughs> All right, so we are going to see what can we expect in this full moon, lunar eclipse, and Taurus for this week. What is it that is going to bring us? What is the message? Just come through, spirit of my highest and greatest good, to give a message that's needed for whomever it is needed for. Thank you for your services. Thank you for your love. And it is so shady. Okay, so let's see. This said harvest, so. And I, I got a feeling they're going to have some names on them. But I'm also feeling like this deck is just so gorgeous. And that's why I had to get it. Um, the art and the messages. So let's see. Let's get one more. Oh, ooh, okay. She is um, all the way naked. <laughs> all right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have 40. Um, and we have Yemiya. And this is awakening in this pregnancy energy. So uh, I haven't even been up here to get y'all these signs and messages I've been picking up on like somebody is definitely pregnant and it might be a water sign or earth sign or a um a fire sign like when I say when I tell you the signs been signing y'all so <laughs> yeah this look okay so this is yummy y'all and um if y'all follow me on facebook y'all seen in my story or not i don't know what's going on but i feel like i'm being channel banned like all these social media platforms let, let me just do a sad note right now i feel like all of these these um all of these social media platforms are the biggest haters like they don't want to get the messages out they don't want to let us get the messages out and i just feel like that's why i haven't ever been like really truly active on these platforms since i started my business because i've seen that real quick and real quick i don't fuck with that because <laughs> hmm so i'm i'm just i'm not good with being monitored or censored because i'm grown as hell so mark zuckerberg um tiktok whoever the fuck run that you 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 be trying to run grown ass people and i don't like that for y'all because who the fuck are you to say i can't so I can't use a, a particular term that man made. <laughs> make it make sense. It don't. And it won't ever make sense to me. So 
I be having to take breaks from these platforms because I just, I don't be in the mood to fight with nobody about how I talk, how I'm going to talk, how, what information, all of that. Um, if that's your, your platform to, you know, do that and, and to fight back more power to you but as for me and my household that just aggravates me because who 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 are you to monitor a grown person and i know some people be like well it could be it's because kids be on here they need to go to that other grown adult that got them kids and monitor their kids. And half the time, these kids got worse mouths than these adults. I know it. I, I work with kids. They cuss worse than me. And I ain't even all the way sailor. If you catch my drift, I don't even be doing too much. They be worse than that. So I just be trying to understand. So I just be like, you know what? Let me just keep on going and not get so caught up on the numbers and i've been got that message a long time ago like if your if your audience is supposed to be 35 people then you show up for them 35 people and you show up for yourself and these numbers don't matter none of this shit matter for real so i ain't tripping on it but it just be like the principle of it at the end of the day like y'all monitoring the wrong shit Y'all can let this violence and the killings and these videos of people getting murdered just be on these platforms all willy-nilly. But when a motherfucker is talking facts, knowledge, trying to awaken the, the masses, they don't want that. Of course they don't want that. And yeah, I ain't even gonna lie to you. It be getting me discouraged because I just be like, look, I don't, I don't got it in me to be fighting against a motherfucker that don't even understand the struggle of a a black person, a melanated person. Like, y'all just colonizers. <laughs> so, of course, y'all want to monitor this ban this restrict this and, and to try to shut a motherfucker up god ain't gonna allow it first and foremost it might happen because you just you know get in your own way sometimes and so you just feel like you know well it is what it is it didn't post so whatever um but god go get in your ear real quick Put the message out. Then then I'll tell you to put the message out. What you're doing. And it'll get out. Regardless. To who it's supposed to get to. All of that. So I ain't tripping on. On people not seeing. Stuff. But I notice it. Like. It'll go from this many people. Seeing it on the daily. Until like a whole week straight. It's just not the same so i'll just be like okay i peep it cool um but yeah anyway that was just a side note sorry um yemi yeah, i posted her um she is the goddess of the ocean the um i begin them mixed up i think she is the goddess of the ocean so that is salt water and all of that good stuff and it says awaken 
so you are in the birthing process basically at this overall energy that is is happening right now um because she big and pregnant and so um this represents the birthing stage that like you you got to birth out something so amazing and it's gonna bring in stability 40 deduces down to a four basically because zero is just non-existent uh when it comes to adding up stuff but four represents stability protection loyalty all of this shit coming in for you and so you just right in the thick of it you are engulfed in it and it's time for you to just be just so focused focused on bringing forth this baby whether it be a physical baby because some of y'all is really pregnant or a figurative baby i had to find a word sorry um and stop saying sorry so much that that's also been <laughs> been something that god been wanting me to get out like stop being sorry about shit like you are not a sorry person and take some time to ponder on that you know when you should apologize you know when you in the wrong you know when it's needed for an apology but we be saying sorry to the most dumbest shit and i just don't like that for us because if we are in the same vicinity in the same space and you see me and i see you and we seeing each other what the fuck am i saying sorry for you when you passing by please let me know is it rude to not say sorry that we in the same vicinity and, and we just passing by i'm not in your way you're not in my way why are you saying sorry stop that anyway then we have this naked lady <laughs> um quetesh the sacred lust and this is giving me um leo energy and i'm a um I'm going to cover this up because, like I said, I don't know about the censoring and all of this on, on YouTube. And this is a, a um, 26, so 8 abundance. And, and she is standing in her, her royalty. She's standing on the back of a lion. Yes, baby, because, like I said, you got to stand on it. So this is... Try not to show her goodies, but she got men catering to her. She just standing on the back of a lion. She just standing in her her power, and this is bringing in the abundance, the the wisdom, the knowledge, because it's a moon above her, the half crescent moon, and this represents, um emotions cancer energy as well secrecies lies coming to fruition or coming to truth coming to the surface is a snake wrapped around her arm so it's some shedding and some pruning that has to happen before you get to this abundance before you get to this level of luxury of everything that you've been asking and calling for egyptian energy as well um gold has been in been sticking out to me this week as well so quetesh is sacred lust like you gotta get into the mindset of what is this what 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 am i offering am i giving off lust or love like you gotta get you got to get familiar with what it is that you're giving off. But this is giving queenly vibes. This is giving, yes, you going to cater to me, baby, because I ain't having it all the way. And they going to go for it because you standing in your power. You know what the fuck you want and don't make them stand on it. 
make them stand on end. Big period. All right, and then we have Satira Brazen. And that's the 17. So one to a seven is eight again. Luxury. See, these trains is coming in. Your harvest is coming in. Brazen. And I'm going to read the book on that because, yeah, that, that word is it's, it's not clicking with me right now. But we going to see what it say. That's why we got the book. Satira, goddess of brazenness. She is from Guana. Guana. That ain't Ghana. Guyana. Look, I know how to read y'all, but sometimes these words be getting the best of you, girl. Okay. <laughs> the Temple Warriors. So she is a warrior goddess, and the element is fire goddess satara is the energy and spirit of buxton in guyana south africa satara is brave bold brazen and barefaced casting a spell with her hips so let's get in real um <laughs> bold in your sexual out sexuality and in your sensuality like you know how to bring the boys to the yard okay you know how to lure them in or just be bold and brazen with it like this is what i said and this is what's going if you if you going with it you're going with it choo choo um the train here you know how to call the boys in you know how to do what you do and, and you ain't even got to give nothing up. You just bold with it. All right. Satara. The abundance. So, um, her guidance is to step up. Go for it. Partner with the divine to make brazen choices. And everything meant to diminish, to diminish you will elevate you. All who mean you harm fall away. Your hurdles are illusions because you are plugged into the source. Baby is. And that's just confirmation right there. You are plugged into the source. Meaning you are the plug and you are the source. You plugged into it. It go hand in hand. So whatever it is that's meant to harm you. During this birthing process, during this thing that's just you trying to birth out something and all of these things is trying to come up against you to stop you, to quiet you, to shut you up, it's going to elevate you. It's the working for your greatest and highest good. You may not see it because you want to think of it. Like I said, you may not feel like it. You may not feel it. It may not look like it because you're in the thick of it. And and so you you just in labor pains. You got your eyes closed. You're breathing through it. You're trying your hardest not to let this overcome you. And so you may not see it. But all of this is working for your highest and greatest good. And it's all falling away. All of these illusions and hurdles that you are coming up against is just illusions so embodiment what you need to embody during this time make the brazen decision what would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail stand on that shit unapologetically it is brazen to be unapologetically you it is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than a community. It is brazen to build your family your way. This energy is brazen. So God is decoration. I am bold, brave, shameless, and brazen. And that is Satara 
and is given very much so engulfed in the fruits of my labor, engulfed in everything that's going to lift me and level me up. It's very much so given the streams are for miles away. But it's still coming in. Look at look at the, the waterfalls in the background. It starts off in the distance and come close. The shoe's surrounded in overflow and abundance. And it deduces down to eight. So abundance. You are infinitely abundant above all things that try to come up against you. Like, make it make sense. They don't. Because you are abundant you are sufficient you are self-sufficient look she by herself she don't need nothing or nobody because she got it herself she worked hard to go get the mangoes look up the meaning of mangoes and then we have who chow <laughs> marajaji marajaji and it's already given, yeah, dance in the rain, dance in the storm, dance in the midst of it, smile in the midst of it, rejoice in the midst of it, have gratitude in the midst of it. This is a nine completion. On the way to this baby shower and out in it all that me and my mama did today, I see nine, 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 three times, three times on the way there. I see 777. Seven, seven. So these represent completion. 999 nine, nine, completion. Seven completion. Nines completion. So you might also be seeing nines and sevens. Five. I also seen five, five, five. These represent change in in just giving you the the confirmation that your people hear you your people see you and, and they're going to come to your aid they're going to be with you along this journey that all you got to do is rejoice in the the storm yeah it might be uncomfortable but you got to be you got to be comfortable in the uncomfortable right now because it's only moving out the impurities it's only moving out the things that is no longer serving your purpose it's only moving out things people places that is just it did its job baby it did its job and so you you gotta transmute it's also given transmutation like these things tried to have a cloud and, and a, a storm over your head, but little do they know the heart that you have, that you you going to stand under that dark and stormy cloud and transmute that shit into something that's going to work out for your highest and greatest good. So, yeah, I might be going through a hardship right now, but I'm laughing I'm happy, I'm joyous, and I'm going to keep that frequency because that's working for me. It's it's not going to work for me to be down and out and, and, and crying and, and not doing nothing about it. I'm transmuting the energy to work for my highest and greatest good. I'm dancing in the ring because I'm moving out all of the stagnant, stuck energy. And this represents my, my manifestation. Like... These circles, they look like clouds. So it's like she dancing in the storm, realizing that all these visions, all these clouds, all these circles that's all around her in this dark and red cloud and gloomy situation and storm, she's seeing the vision that the clouds, the sun, I see the vision. So it's it's no re it's no reason for me to be sad when I see the vision. I see what God doing. It's just uncomfortable right now because the storm got to clear away the path. The storm got to get me in the perfect position to level me up, to catapult me to the next season of a pour down in a good and mighty way. That I'm gonna be in this energy of 
luxury that i'm letting everything around me and surrounding me come through with ease that my abundance is, is all around me all the time then i am in comfortable and fertile grounds and it shows because i'm in it and i see it and it had to take these days where i'm dancing in the rain and it might look like crazy on the outside looking in to other people it might be oh girl you crazy as hell to be out there in the thunder and the, and the lightning and and you just dancing in the rain baby you don't see the vision like i see it i see the vision i see it clear look at all of these circles of good days i see the vision and so it's coming to a, a, a completion of the old. And so, yeah, you got to rejoice in the now, in the storm. You got to rejoice and give gratitude for now because you would have already seen the vision. Other people ain't seen it because it's your vision to see. So they, they wondering, everything is falling apart around you. Why are you still happy? Why are you still laughing? Because, baby, I know what's for me. It's for me. It's getting to me. God ain't going to allow me to be broke and desolate. God ain't going to allow me to be out down bad. God ain't going to allow it. And I trust it because God showed me this for you. Because it wouldn't be in my heart if it wasn't true. And so my part, I got to know it. I got to trust it. I got to have faith. In the midst of the storm. I got to dance like it's already here. I got to give thanks like it's already here. I got to be rejoicing like it's already here. Because that's how it's going to speed up the process. That's how it's going to all of a sudden be here. That's how it's going to get to me. Because in the midst of the storm. In the midst of everything going to shit. Literally and figuratively, I'm still holding that frequency of, baby, I ain't got to worry about it. God already told me I ain't got to worry about it, so I ain't going to worry about it. Because me worrying about it, that don't look good or feel good. So I said, you know what, God? I'm going to continue to affirm and confirm then I'm rooted down in deep stability. I'm rooted down deep in wealth. I'm rooted down deep in everything that I said I'm going to have. I'm rooted down deep in that knowledge. And I'm not just speaking it. I'm a live it. And I don't even want for much, God. So I know you're going to exceed the expectation. I know you're going to suddenly just open the floodgates of heaven and pour out an unimaginable gift. I got to stand on that myself. Who else going to do it? Who else going to stand on that when I'm the one that got the vision for it? When I'm the one that God showed? So, yeah. Everybody might be looking at me crazy while I'm standing in the rain, in the thunder, Laughing, joyous, rejoicing, happy as hell, still in the storm. Because I know my manifestations are all around me already. I just got to rise to the frequency. You do too. So, get ready. Your manifestations are coming in. Your joy is coming in. Yo, yo, everything is coming in. What you ask for is coming in. And it's already started to come in for some people. I wanted to write a status the other day, but I didn't even get to it. Um, I was going to write that people, y'all, <laughs> y'all keys is ready. Congratulations. Y'all cars is ready. Congratulations. Y'all babies is ready. Congratulations. Like, 
congratulations as a winner. So, congratulations, y'all. I am so happy that y'all, y'all, y'all getting it and, and getting to it. Because it's time, it's harvest season. So, of course. And that don't even have to do, they don't always have to do with just material things. It can be today, I maintain the frequency of happiness. Today, I maintain the frequency of I'm not going to worry about it. Today, I maintain the frequency of love in an atmosphere that was surrounded by um, hate. I maintain the frequency of peace when I was surrounded by chaos. That is your manifestations coming in because you can think back, very recent maybe for some of y'all, that chaos was all you know. But you chose different. You chose, you said that you wanted change. And so you started to go after it and started to accept it, right? And peace started to show up. And you first, because you worked on it. And then all around you in your environment. Some days it might feel like it's boredom. But no, it's just peace. And so when you realize that you're living in the things that you asked for, it's a new type of happiness. You got to rejoice in that. Because there's some people that that say they want something and they ain't serious about it. And so that show too. And then they wonder why. And then in a click. Well, I wasn't serious about that. So, okay, now I'm going to get serious. And then them too. They going to start to see the change. So, get ready. If you're not already ready, get ready. Because God is doing a new thing, been doing a new thing. And it's just time for the acceptance of you. You got to step into that wholeheartedly. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, everything, you got to jump all in. You can't leave nothing out. You can't leave no area out, no aspect. You can't jump in mentally and physically and leave out the other stuff. No, you got to go full force head with all of that. Okay. Like, it's just giving that blind faith. That blind faith without a, a shadow of a doubt that I am reaching what God said I'm going to have. And the signs are showing up and I'm paying attention to them. That nine, baby, look, you can't tell me nothing. You might be an air sign, 926, 917, um, Virgo. You might be 40, 26. Early 20s, something. But this is for you. If it resonates with you, it's for you. Like, it's just a new season. And it's given energy of big period. Like, P. Stand on it. With this brazen energy. That you're going to be bold in everything that you do. Intentional in everything that you do. Because you got the hope. You got the faith. You got the, the wherewithal. You got it all. It's within you already. And so you live in proof, baby. You are living proof that God is about to do miraculous things in your life. And you got to be brazen during this time. It's time out for wavering. It's time out for fear. It's time out for, for badgering yourself. 
I was about to say it's time out for um doubt, but badgering yourself, going back and forth with yourself. No, stand on it with yourself as well. Because our ego definitely be like, no, you can't do this. I want to keep you in the box. But when you operate in, in love and trust and knowing that whatever is happening, whatever is going on in my life, God got it already. So what I'm going to sit up here and stress and worry and fear and doubt and, and just add on this unnecessary shit in my life. I'm not going to do it. Don't do it to yourself. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to be constipated because you is harboring these feelings that show up in your gut. And a part of your gut is your intestines and all of that. It's a system. Your whole system would be off whack and out of balance because you sitting up here stressed. Stress will kill you faster than a motherfucking bullet would. You got to understand that. You got to trust that. And so, why are you going to just voluntarily have it in your life? Decide today, from this moment on, I am in the frequency of knowing that God got it. So, I ain't got to worry about it. I surrender it. Yes. It's easier said than done. It's always easier said than done. But when you get to a point in the journey, in your journey, in your life, and your healing, whatever the fuck you're doing, you're going to get to a point where you just be like, I done tried everything else. So maybe maybe I need to try surrendering and really doing it. You could just say it all day long until you're blue in the face. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. But if you're not actually exuding that you surrender, if you're not actually really surrendering and laying it down at the altar at the feet of god whatever you want to call it if you're not actually doing that and going on about your business it's gonna show both of it's gonna show when you actually surrender and really just you know what god <sighs> oh, i've come to this point in my journey and i'm gonna just let it go i trust you i trust myself in this journey i trust that where I'm going and where you're trying to go with me, carry me to, whatever. Where I'm trying to go, where I'm trying to get me, I'm going to trust this process. I'm going to trust me in the process. And I'm going to go ahead and, and surrender. I'm going I'm to go ahead and relinquish all control. And I'm going to go on about my day because that's what it's all about. You got to surrender and let it go. Put it on the altar, baby, and let it go. Keep it there. Don't go back and get it. it, it once you put it out the altar, it's in God's hands. It's in your ancestors' hands. It's in higher power hands. And that means that you trust in the process. That means that you trust in yourself. That means that you trust in that wherever I just laid that shit at, I ain't got to worry about it. Because people that's for me, for my highest and greatest good, they swooped it right on up and they looking at it and they assessing it and it's handled because it's been handled. And then the other way that is going to show, oh, you can say it all day long. Yeah, I surrender. But you still got your hand in it. You still got your thoughts in it. You still got your heart in it. You still got your body in it. You still got everything pertaining to you in it, trying to control it, trying to figure it out, trying to see how the fuck? What the fuck? Where the fuck? And you're not living. You're not living a life. You are stuck in the bed. You're depressed. You're anxious. You are losing it. Little by little. Day by day. And it's showing. So which one you gonna be? The one that really put it down or the one that's just saying that you surrender. I think the good advice, you know, would be to actually surrender and let it go. Because it's it's out of your point. I mean, it's out of your hands at this point. And so relinquish all control 
and go on about your day. Relinquish all control. It it go fill your car up. Relinquish all control and still have a smile on your face and actually smile from your teeth, your cheeks, whatever that saying is. Um, relinquish all control and still go get you a meal. <laughs> relinquish all control and still go on about your day. Relinquish all control. Don't do the opposite of that. Don't say you relinquish on all control and still sitting in the house and, and crying and angry and pacing the floor and, and, and fighting the air. Your, your spirit guys is sitting there like this. Like, didn't she just say, didn't he just say that um, they surrender? The fuck is she doing? The hell is she doing? Why is he on the ground, frustrated, crying? In the fetal position. They be confused with with some of y'all actions and words and being misconstrued because it's like, baby, I thought you just said you you, you gonna let us handle it. They wanna handle it, let them handle it. Relinquish all control. Relinquish all control. So we're gonna get into these charms and yeah, that that's the introduction a little bit. I just I just wanted three. Cause three represents you, mind, body, and soul. So I feel like these these three cards represents the stages of where you where you're going and where you're at with it, basically. Um so yeah, that's just the introduction. Of the the goddess African rising, the African goddess rising oracle deck. Um, I will have the information down below. So yeah, um, but yeah, on to the charms. So I showed y'all P already, and that's where I'm getting this energy of big P. Stand on it, P. Might be it. your initial, um, in your name something like that and then we have we got four words and i feel like these four words also represent the stages of these cards like the stages of your life the stages of your process and your healing right now or this this could just be something that you need to practice this week practice hope we got hope out here that look up the definition of hope and get your own understanding of the word for you and your life. But you need to have hope for things not yet even seen. Get your evidence. That's one of my favorite scriptures. That's one of my favorite just analogies of manifestations and actualization in your life. That... I don't see it at all how it's going to happen. But I'm going to collect some things, you know, little trinkets that I could put in my viewpoint every day from this present moment right now where I'm at because this is where I'm at right now, right? So I could get little trinkets and this can represent what, what it is that I desire to have later in my future. And that's the form of manifestation that i'm gonna have hope that it's gonna be in my reality and i'm gonna experience that i'm gonna hold it i'm gonna touch it i'm gonna taste it i'm gonna experience it so if you are hoping and, and wishing to conceive a baby go out and and buy something that represents your baby or if you want to make it personal think of names 
visualize it. If you want to get it personalized, something custom, and that represents your baby, right down to the gender, do that. Have the evidence of this thing. If you are wishing to close on a house, upgrade an apartment, get an apartment. Get something you want to see in that apartment, house, or upgrade, whatever, when it pertains to a home. Get a trinket. Get something that represents that. If you want a car, get a rearview mirror trinket, air freshener thingy, and say, this represents my car. Right down to the make and model. In the year, get specific. On every single thing that you are hoping to bring into your reality. So ponder upon that. Journal about that. Write it down. Be specific with these actualizations and manifestations. And visualize it. Take some time to actually see yourself walking in the front door of your home. Sitting in your new car. Driving your new car. Driving off the lot. Put the price. What you want to pay? How you going to do it? Be specific. Then we have trust. Trust in this time of your life, baby. Trust that it's already done. Trust in yourself. Trust that you're going to see it. You're going to experience it. You're going to walk in it. Drive in it, lay in it, be in it, have it. Mm -hmm. You got to trust it. Namaste. Peace be unto you. That during this time, activate the, the energy of Moja DG. DG. Moja DG. Mold. Moda GG manifestations that in the midst of the storm I'm happy as hell I'm splashing in the sun I'm splashing in the rain I'm splashing because why not I'm at peace and I am holding the frequency of it and it shows and then we have dream that you gotta pay attention to your dreams this week that your dreams are showing you just how good your life is already and about to get. Your dreams are showing you signs of what's next, how to maneuver, how to get there. So pay attention. And follow your dreams. Go for it. Follow wherever it is that you want and need to go. You are rooted down deep instability a tree tree root family family tree family ties then you are rooted down deep in stability anchor is out here anchor always loves to show itself anchor represents strength it represents stability it represents being able to be in deep water. Deep water is a different type of security than shallow water. Because shallow water is just, it's not deep. <laughs> it's not deep enough. But that, that, that anchor down in deep, still calm, peaceful waters, it's a different type of inner standing. That, yes, I am anchored down in deep stability. And these, the water, you might be a water sign. The water is a, a, a sign of cleansing, of purification, of messages, of clarity. 
do our rooted out leaf in that. And then we have the pentacle, which represents spirit, the top, and then the four elements, water, earth, air, and fire. And working with the elements, it'll bless your life. Say affirmations. Thank you, God, that I am cleansed. I am purified. I am fluid. I am free like the current. I am currency. Thank you, God, that I am walking through the fire and it's refining me. And when I get out on the other side, I'm not even going to smell of smoke. Thank you, God, that I'm grounded in earth. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Thank you, Son, for pouring into me, grounding me, filling me up and overflowing me. Thank you, God, for a clear mind that I can be cool, calm, and collected like the breeze. That air filled my lungs. And I am stable in all of these. That's what this represent when I see it that at the top is me that I am soul I am spirit I am connected to all the four elements and I can use them to my advantage because they are here for my advancement that I can use the water to cleanse and to clear spiritually and physically that I can use the fire to burn away, to see a message in the candles. I can use and be out in the earth and ground and use herbs to help heal me and that is the earth. And when I'm in the nature, I get signs and, and just be good all around. That the, the systems, baby look, I'm trusting in the systems of the tree. <laughs> and I am excited to, to tell y'all about that in another video in another day. I'm excited to tell y'all about that when it's done, okay? But I am working with the systems that's put here for me. I come from the systems of nature, of my highest and greatest good. So, every element going to be for your advancement. Use it for your advancement. All right? So, I don't want it to just cut off. So, we're going to end it here. I hope y'all got a good message. Because I know it lists my soul. So, hopefully, y'all got a good message out of this. And y'all can apply it to your life and be able to level up with the signs. And be able to use the energy that's going on to help elevate y'all all right so until next time please comment like and subscribe sushi card on yay and y'all be well and all of that good stuff all right until next time peace